up guys, AV guy here. Pro tip, I'm about to tell you something that you've never heard before, probably. I've never heard anybody do it. I'm the only person that I've ever seen do it, so I'm sure there's other guys out there that do it, but um, hey, I'll take credit for it if nobody else does it. <laughs> Let's say your mountain's of stone or brick and you don't feel confident, right? That the, the anchor's not going in, it's slipping out, like you're putting a little tension on it and the and the the mountain just wants to come off the wall. No problem. I want you to find the studs behind that wall, that, that brick wall. Every, behind every brick wall, you've got a structural wall behind it, okay? Uh, usually, it's there's gonna be uh, a minimum of about one and a half inch air gap between the brick and the wall behind. Um, in this case, I'm out here on a patio. I don't know if you can see right here. I'll actually come show you. Here is our, there's our wall behind, you can see. There's an OSB, okay? So there's a wall behind every brick wall, right? We know that. I want you to find the studs back there. So walk around to the other side of this brick wall. Use your typical stud finder, it's usually drywall. If it's not, you know, you're gonna, it's gonna have to be a little bit more tricky. Um, but find your studs. Maybe that's cutting a hole in the brick and, and, and finding your studs that way if it's an interior brick wall. If it's an exterior brick wall, you're gonna be walking to the inside of the house. Typically, it's gonna be drywall on the other side and you wanna find that stud. Take very careful measurements, come outside, then locate on the brick where those studs are. I want you to drill a hole through the brick. I want you to go make your Home Depot run. I want you to buy an eight inch long lag, okay? I don't want you to land in your, your, your lag in an anchor on the brick. I want you to land your lag through the OSB into the stud in the wall behind. That's how I do it. I've come across brick walls that just aren't, you know, brick walls aren't load bearing. They're not structural. So they're actually tied to the, the wall behind. Um, so, but the, and, and it's okay to mount to brick walls. They're, they're usually pretty strong, but there is a few cases where the mortar is super soft or the, the, the wall itself is just, you can feel it move. They didn't do a good job securing it, whatever the case may be. In those cases, I send a lag all the way through to the stud behind. That's a pro tip. TV will never come down if you're attached to that wall behind. One thing to be careful of, don't over tighten that lag. You will literally pull the bricks through to that wall. You just want them to be barely touching. You want that mount to be touching the brick, okay? Um, so, so get your lag, tighten it up, and um, you know just, just make it touch the mount and the brick. Don't keep going because it'll pull that brick to the wall behind, okay? Once you have it attached, it's touching the mount, touching the brick, then this part will be in the stud and this part will be in the brick and it'll just be, it'll be that shear weight, right? That's what we want, but it won't pull out because uh, you're attached to that wall behind. Hey, pro tip, don't mess up anybody's brick wall though, okay? Don't over tighten it, don't do it. I warned you, okay? AV guy out. <laughs>